Thanks for joining our Tuesday night broadcast of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter David Aldridge. We've got the San Antonio Spurs taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. So here we go. The Bucks win the tip. It's Abdul Jabbar, high post. Abdul Jabbar throws it to Nice job getting his position that time by Abdul Jabbar. And once he gets that position, he goes to work. And Benyama gets the bucket. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. It is good. Abdul Jabbar got his second basket of the game. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now, here's Vassell. After the miss by Oscar Robertson. Vassell, no good. Those are chances. Almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D, just enough to keep him out of it. Well, you got to bring more energy than this. Abdul Jabbar isn't easily going to be thrown off by a little contact. Abdul Jabbar is not going to be thrown off much Kenny by a little contact. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Pass to Abdul Jabbar. Here's Danridge. Good, and Abdul Jabbar gets the assist. And the Greyhound, really one of the original two way players, Dandridge. Quick and fluid right there from mid range. And not the prototype power forward, but he has tremendous athletic ability. Spurs working the ball around now. Count the basket. Six point for Victor Rembenyama. And standing easily over seven feet. When Wimby gets that ball near the hoop, literally nothing a defender can do. And Abdul Jabbar can't get it to go. Here's Osman. That shot misses. Side, Abdul Jabbar. Nice dish by Robertson to set up the bucket. Abdul Jabbar's got eight points. Well, you know, if you're playing Robertson to score, not a bad idea, but that means you're going to leave other guys open and he'll find it. That's great TNT, baby. Explosive. That was pretty, and he just has that effortless knack for getting inside. Tell you what, you hate to be the guy having the responsibility of guarding him. Here's Abdul Jabbar. The shot's good. He's got 10. And don't let the lean physique fool you. Kareem, with the strength to finish through contact, as well as anybody who's ever played. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can take him that. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal. Seven foot two Abdul Jabbar is such a remarkable player, so talented, and you gotta love that unblockable signature sky hook shot that he mastered from an early age. Here's Wembenyama. He points for him. Johnson outside. To the wing on the left. And it's also been missing. You know what, though, no, sometimes you can be too open. He can may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Tony, from anywhere in the lane, Robertson's strength and quickness usually means he's the last man standing. Here's Johnson. After the made shot from Oscar Robertson. Back to Wembenyama. And the layup's good off the glass. That's 10 points for Victor Wembenyama. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Not too many defenders are blocking Kareem inside. One, he's too big, he's too powerful, and he's too skilled. And Benyama gets the bucket. Yeah, such a sweet three-point stroke there. And it can really open things up inside because as good as he shoots it, it forces the opposing mid to have to step out on the perimeter. Here's Abdul Jabbar. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't let the lid off. 
First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Numbers this year at the line below 70, so he's getting to the line not nearly as effective as he'd like. And guys, it's something that he's going to have to work on more and more because he's still not getting the kind of shooting percentage he would like from the line. Now, here's Vassell. He has yet to score. They had a monster game for Wimby with the matchup issues he creates. I'm not sure anyone in this league can stop him when he's on. Allen. Pass to Cunningham. Allen with it. Abdul Jabbar in the post. And the dunk by Abdul Jabbar. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Yeah, you know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. Fades away, and it's wide right. It's off the rim. For a great effort on defense there against That's a guy who typically makes that score. And so is Victor Wembanyama making things happen for the Spurs. Going on an absolute rampage, piling in the... And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the Spurs. To me, it's been the ball move. That's been the key. I mean, going from good to great. Not settling for a good shot. Making that extra pass, keeping the defense off balance, and taking great shots. Oh, man. Th their mid-range jumper also has been on fire. Tough to beat a group of guys shooting with that much confidence. The shot by Abdul Jamal. Nobody around. That's in coming off the assist from Cunningham. Jabbar has a sweet little mid-range day now. Can't sleep on that. Got to keep him from finding his rhythm from here. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. Victor Wimbanyama is drawing admirers far and wide, including some who know their hoops, like LeBron James. LeBron says he's for sure a generational talent. Everybody's been a unicorn over the last few years, but he's more like an alien. Nobody has ever seen anyone as tall as he is, but as fluid time out, time and out. as graceful as he is, out on the floor. Kevin? Yeah, David, you and I agree, he is different. And the Bucks decide to take their first time out here. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. To the inside. And Kareem throws it down. Boy, Abdul Jabbar just showing off that smooth offensive game he has. It's tough to handle his combination of size, skill, and agility. And, and he's really made the most of his opportunities today. I mean, he needs to keep working for those kinds of looks. The kick out to Abdul Jabbar. Basket for Milwaukee. Spurs leading by five to the wing right side. Johnson wide open. He fires. That drops. Nice feed that time from Wimbenyama. Spurs How about the vision by Wimbenyama there? Always looking to get teammates involved. First team foul. Allen inside. Abdul Jabbar with it. Now guarded by Wimbanyama. And it's Brown missing. To the middle. Here's Johnson. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And now a 10 point Spurs lead. Can't allow Johnson to get that deep. Once he's there, he's going to be able to score. Abdul Jabbar looking over the floor. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. Boy, I tell you what, the hole would be a lot deeper if he wasn't being as efficient as he's been so far. And Benyama up top. 
Two free throws coming up, and they'll call the shooting foul. Good tonight. That's going to go on for Ema Abdul-Jabbar. And the rookie turning up the intensity when Benyama absorbs the foul there on the shot. Well, he's got a great shot from the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive play. Ash to Osman. And that's rejected by Abdul-Jabbar. That's break, Milwaukee. That one goes in. And now it's only a five-point San Antonio lead. That's simply an outstanding play. Working the size mismatch right at the rim. Took him no time at all on that one. Ram Benyama's got 26. Sometimes you watch Ram Benyama and think this guy is a cheap goal. Hitting threes at well over seven feet tall. 129 left in the first half of the game. Kicks it out to Johnson. Takes a three. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. Three points. And Johnson is still holding this part of his game. But this is an encouraging sign. And wait to finish and cut into that piece a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, the basket guy still shaking. Well, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hander. And the advantage he has is obvious. It's clear. I mean, just taking what the defense gives him there. Pass to McLaughlin. Hucks passing it around. Now Abdul Jabbar. A shot off that time. Good defense by Wembenyama. Here's Osman. No good from outside. Got the defender off his feet with the pump fake, but couldn't knock it down. Johnson with some nice D. And so Wembenyama will bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. And this is the game plan for him. And he's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. And inefficient defense there, guys. If there's one thing you want to try and take away from Robertson, it's the dribble drive. The three from Johnson. That drops nice speed that time from Wembenyama. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with. If it's working, keep working. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. Here's Wembenyama for three. And that shot was up in time, but it doesn't go in. And so to San Antonio. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We've got more in store for you right after this. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback. One side trying to protect their lead. And he converts the lead. That's 28 points for Victor Rembenyama. And this is what you want to see. Rembenyama attacking for the 40 inside. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And Robertson no good on that one. Here's Osman. Shock up to him. Osman's got his second basket of the night. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Here's Wimbenyama. Oh, and then a free kicked in by Andrew Jabbar. Off the inbound pass. And Wimbenyama throws it down. Bucks trail by 13. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. The Spurs celebrated their 50th season in San Antonio last year. It was a tremendous legacy for one of the four ABA teams to join the NBA in 1976. The Spurs hosted a game against the Warriors with more than 68,000 fans in attendance. It was the most ever for a regular season NBA game. These loyal fans continue to support their home team. Kevin? They've been so loyal. David, thank you. Absolutely. This is a great market. Out to the right wing. 
down low. Ben Benyama tries again. Good defense by Abdul Jabbar. And they'd love to cut this deficit down to single digits. Johnny Mack, John McLaughlin drills the long range jump shot. And you know what? One of the few bright spots in this game for them today. He's kept his edge even though they've been trailed. Here's Sohan. And he uses the glass on the lane. And the Spurs leap by nine. Yeah, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. You know, numbers don't always tell the story, guys, but his assist totals do paint the picture here. I mean, he's got everybody involved. Here's Robertson. It's Abdul Jabbar, high post. To the right side. Pass to Robertson. San Antonio with the rebound. And here's the fast break. Here's Johnson. It's Vassell on the wing. It's Vassell on the wing. Here's Sohan. Five to shoot. Second chance shot. Oh. And then it's rejected by Abdul Jabbar. Into the line for your backs. Number seven, Lucius Allen. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Bucks trailed by 12. Abdul Jabbar outside. Wants to get it to Robertson and does. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And San Antonio calls for the foul. One of the all-time greats and most versatile scores ever. Oscar Robertson showing you how easy it is for him to get to the line. San Antonio leading by ten. Inside. Back to Osman. Third quarter here. And three minutes have come off the clock. On the wing, Johnson. Just five on the clock. Driving in. And that's rejected by Abdul Jabbar. Vassell grabs the board. And Benyama outside. That's in there, Johnson with the assist. When Benyama's got six points in the quarter. And a no game for his game. Johnson's becoming a better playmaker. You can't say enough about his individual performance. I don't think you can overstate it. I mean, even if the all-around team effort's been lacking, this guy's been on top of things. Guarded. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. That is your Breakers Dance Crew. 129 left to play here in the third. And it's Cunningham, top of the key. Over to the wing. Here's Allen. That one off the back iron and out. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that old. And out of bounds is the Bucks gain possession. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. One oh four left to play in the third. Robertson outside. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. No one near him. Here's Cunningham. Plays it up and banks it in. Cunningham's got his first points of the game. Well, I love the way he goes after it there. I mean, you've got to respect that. He's rewarded for his efforts of pursuing the ball. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. This lost sense of time and the situation. And just beating the open man. Nice recognition there from Bissell. Left side, Abdul Jabbar. Pass to Allen. Here is McLaughlin. From the arc, Ben Benyama with the rebound. And intentional.